Hello and welcome. With the Christmas season that just passed, often comes gifts. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you what I received as art-related gifts, and we're going to use a few of them. Not all of them, because there's several. And I bought some stuff for myself too. I'm gonna share it with you today. Enjoy. I figured we should start with the stuff that I bought and get into the stuff that I received as a gift later. So we'll start with the more boring stuff, which actually is not all that boring. We have, finally, PH Martin's Bleed Proof White. It has been a long time that I have needed or wanted this. So I finally picked it up. <laughs> After that last video, the suggestions in the comments, I'm like, okay, okay, fine. I'll remember this time and actually purchase this. Lots of good white highlights coming my way. <laughs> Next is this corner rounder. So I don't know if you saw when I was doing those calendars, the corners were rounded and I had my old one that I've had from the very beginning, <laughs> whenever that was. And I've sharpened it a few times and it just wouldn't work anymore. So I got this one, which has three different round corner choices there. So now onto the more exciting stuff that I bought myself. My absolute favorite artist that is somewhat local to me had a Christmas sale on her work. And so I picked up a bunch of her paintings. So she's a watercolor artist. Her name is Carmel Walden. She is amazing. <laughs> she's an amazing person and an absolutely amazing artist. There was this painting that I picked up, which is amazing, outstanding, gorgeous, all those good words. Let me show you a few more. This one I thought was really fascinating. So I bought that one, love it. And this long skinny one. It's a lot of tulips. I think they're tulips. Just love it. And then I bought this print from her. I think they're all prints, really. I don't think I bought any originals. I'm not sure. I'd have to look at my receipt. I doubt it because it didn't cost an arm and a leg, so <laughs> probably no originals. Anyway, bought this print from her because I have those frames I picked up at that Michaels haul that I showed you in this video here that I'll link this frame here. This painting should go right in there and look absolutely gorgeous. And there's something about ships that make me feel really peaceful. So I am excited to get this framed and get that in there. So it's the only one I bought not framed because I had this white frame for it already. The last painting I bought from her is this big guy right here. And you won't be able to see much of it. I don't know how to even show it to you. Probably just put it on the wall and I don't know, it's dark. So maybe during the daylight, I will get this on the wall for you or lean it against the wall because where I'm hanging it, I don't have it ready. So it's gorgeous, it's huge. And I have another one this size that I bought from her years ago that I absolutely love also. We're gonna move on to gifts now. This is a mug where the handle, I just put my hot drink in there so I can't really tilt it, but the handle's a paintbrush. Inside on the bottom is a cute little heart and it's so sweet. And then the, my initials are on this side, just, just an M and this is from my soon-to-be daughter-in-law, my son's fiance, painted this for me. So I love it. I use it every day over here. It's on my little plate warmer thing that keeps drinks warm. Okay, so here's this. And I know you guys said, don't buy the Derwent one, but this was on my wish list for that little bit until I took it off and replaced it with the one you guys suggested. And so someone had already picked it up for me. So I do have the Derwent Super Point Manual Sharpener. And hopefully... It's okay. I don't use pencils a whole lot anyway, so I'll use it. Or if you guys think it's from Amazon, I know that's where she bought it, so I could send it back and replace it. It's in a bit rough shape, but uh, you know, inside is still brand new, so they would probably take it back as a return. I mean, Amazon, I don't think they care what condition your boxes are in anyway, but I don't want to take advantage of that. Should I keep it or should I replace it with the other one that you guys recommended? Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> okay, okay. Now on to super exciting stuff too. Like the paintings weren't exciting enough. That was like a Christmas in and of itself for me. And her cell was amazing. And because I've bought so many of her paintings in the past already, she gave me an even greater deal. Her website is Walden Watercolors. Dot com. I'll link everything down below and you can go check it out. I'm not sure if she's still having the 50% off sale or not, but if so, it will be on her website. Here's the next thing I received for Christmas. This is from my grandma. She got this for me. So these are those collapsible water cups and she just put two together because I had asked for two on my wish list. And here they are. She has two cats as well in her house, so they could have gotten hairy while she was wrapping them. <laughs> 
because she said her cats were on their desk helping her. Anyway, they're so cute. And they hold a brush. That's what these little ridges are for. So your brush can be on there and it won't just roll off. So I've got the two, one for clean water and one for my dirty water. They're a nice size. And then when you're ready to travel, just collapse them. They take up about the space of one smaller container when they're both collapsed. So I'm really, really looking forward to using that. In fact, probably we'll start using this just as my desk water as well, maybe. So, cause they're a little bit smaller profile than my others. Take up a little less room on the desk. It would be good to get some use out of them. You know, even when I'm not traveling, cause traveling has been a lot less, even though we did still travel a lot, is a lot less than normal. Might as well get use out of them, huh? All right, next item we have the Paul Rubens watercolor sketchbook. Now this is where we still can't find the cold press version of this. So this is a hot press sketchbook, but that's okay. I'm going to expand my horizons there and try hot press again. <laughs> so this is just like the pink one that I showed you guys in a video that I'll link up here. For those of you that are new, you can go check that out. This is the black version and bigger. So we have hot press paper. It is nice and thick and it is 100% cotton. Next is this. I didn't get it off of my wish list soon enough for that other person that commented that said the paper is really hard to use actually, wouldn't recommend it. So I had enough other paper, I took this off the list but somebody had already picked it up and that's fine because I've never tried it. So it's 12 sheets, I'll probably go through it pretty quickly anyway and I'll get use out of it. So this is also 100% cotton, I thought. Yep. 100% cotton, and this is in the 8x10 size single sheets. Last thing for watercolor paper is this. This is also from my grandma, so she got me this, these, and this. She's very generous. This is the exact same paper as this one here. Hot press, 100% cotton, the whole deal. But the difference is that this one is a block. So this one is glued, I think around all four edges. One, two, three, yes. Just like the arches blocks, it's glued around all four edges with the little gap right here to get the paper off. So now we have a hot press block and it looks like the little divot from their paper there did come through on this first sheet a little bit. So this first sheet we'll probably have to use just for playing around and scrap and stuff. See, it looks like the black dye in this paper rubs off. Most people will leave this on to protect their paper, but if it's going to dye the paper, I don't really want that there. So I'll either put a piece of plastic between it or remove it and just use the cover, but who's to say this cover won't do the same thing because it is also black. I'm so excited. I love working on watercolor blocks. The piece de resistance. <laughs> anyway, <sighs> above and beyond exciting for a watercolor artist is New watercolor paint. Look at that. Here they are. Oh, love them, love them, love them. So this is the Rembrandt Extra Fine Watercolor set of 12. It comes in this cute little tin with three dividers there and this type of end over here. I think this is a slightly different tin than any that I have so far. I'd have to obviously go look and double check to be sure, but that's pretty cool get something kind of new. So they have their paints pretty tight together here and in between is this brush. It's just a Royal Talons Rembrandt size four red sable brush. You know, it, it feels really flimsy as far as its casing, but we'll see how the brush works. I'll go grab some water We'll get these opened up. We might as well try them on the sheet in this block that's basically ruined and we'll go from there. We'll open up the yellow one together and then I'll open them up for you without you having to sit through all of that. <laughs> and if you think that I'm talking more quietly and maybe with less enthusiasm today because everyone is asleep and I don't want to wake them up by talking loudly, but they probably can't hear anyway. It's just a mental thing with me. I'm like, oh, everyone's in bed. I need to talk quietly. This one, number 207, series three, cadmium yellow lemon. R207, so at least you could match the thing on the pan to the thing on the label, like my technical term, thing. <laughs> so here it is. Felt like it might pop out. So anyway, they were probably cut outside of this pan and then put in here. Okay, I'll open the rest and see what they look like. 
all unwrapped, ready to go. So one thing that's kind of interesting on this is how the pans go in there. Do you see right here, there's a big gap. And we lost two. <laughs> anyway, they're kind of at, a, at an angle. So like this could push down farther, but it's almost like they made the metal part that holds this too big. So that's kind of interesting. And then yes, you can see we lost ultramarine blue, burnt sienna, and viridian out of there. <laughs> All right, well, it's no big deal. And the way this flops around will drive me crazy too, so I'll be tacking that down. I know a lot of people don't because the idea is that you take it out and have more mixing space, but I don't need more mixing space, so this floppiness is going to drive me crazy. So I'll either do that or I'll put a magnet on the bottom of these and just put them in the bottom of the tin. Depending on if this drives me crazy or not, we'll see. Let's see how these paints re-wet and what they look like. Quite excited about that. All right, let's try the yellow. Oh, one thing on this brush, it did already come apart on me once, just while I was bringing it back and forth to get the sizing off of it. We'll see if it happens again. Here's the yellow. I don't have the dual camera thing set up this time, so you're just gonna get this one perspective. All right, well that was easy to re-wet and super fun. <laughs> yellow. Some more water on the subject. Very pretty. That was the cadmium yellow light. This is the azo yellow. Oh, interesting. We'll do it this way. More water. Cadmium red. Permanent Matter Lake. This is usually one of my favorite colors. Next is Ultramarine Deep, I think that one's called Ultramarine Deep. thought I had too much water in my brush, but I think it's just the way the pigment looks. This next one is Cerulean Blue. Hmm. Seems kind of muddy on this paper. Well, maybe not. Yeah, it does. <laughs> this is called, I guess, Permanent Green. Yep, Permanent Green. It's pretty bright green. Oh man, I just lost the brush in the water dish. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Viridian. What the heck? It's a little harder to re-wet or something. Don't think it's a very strong pigment. Oh, the brush feels like it's coming apart again. Brush not recommended. If you're wondering. I don't like that breeding. It's not very strong. All right, yellow ochre. Burnt sienna. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a uh, really colorful color. <laughs> it's a really colorful non color. <laughs> I knew what I meant. Whatever. Whatever. All right. And I'm glad it was Payne's Gray here instead of black. That was a nice bonus. I love Payne's Gray. Every day of the week. Oh, and it's a pretty one. Oh, that's gorgeous. 
cool. So I noticed some of these paints were series three and some were series one, and some had light fastness information and some did not. So this is what we end up with here. I think we will just doodle. We'll doodle some stuff here. See what we come up with. <laughs> Let's do a little scene over here. Doodle painting. <laughs> Do like a, I don't know, a bit of a sunset maybe? Little doodle painting. What else? What else should we do? I got stockings on the brain still. We're gonna do one. I know it's not Christmas still, but I don't care. Oh, that's an interesting stocking. A whale. That's a really pretty color. It's a jaunty stocking. Very jaunty. Got my stocking in. It's different. Oh man, I lost my brush in there again. I don't think I'll be using this brush. Put in some yellow, yellow, yellow. Oh yeah. Pretty, pretty, pretty. What else? What else should we doodle? Hmm. I'm really coming up blank today. Maybe a flower. Let's try out that sepia color. Flower. Flower. Let's go. Oh my gosh. There we went the brush. What else can we doodle? About out of battery and people are gonna wake up. Hmm, maybe I have an idea. Okay. What else? Maybe a little cup of coffee. Cup of coffee. Let's try out this stuff. Since I don't like this brush anyway, we are gonna use it for this. I have no idea what kind of brush you're really supposed to use with that stuff. I'll have to look that up unless you guys know. You can tell me. Alrighty, well, that works. Works nicely. I accidentally dunked my palm into that. See? Yep, so I did good there. Not all fixed. Well, people are going to be waking up and stuff. That was fun. I will definitely need to try an actual real painting with these paints, but the doodles were fun. I didn't notice anything life altering <laughs> about any of it. Coming up, I do have the Palletful Packs box that came in the mail finally. And I also received on December 24th, Jazza's Ultimate Creativity Box. So I have that that I'll be opening as well. So lots of things coming up. I need to use these paints in an actual painting. I need to use my other papers that I received and do more fun stuff with paint. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining me today. And uh, thank you also to my, that was loud. Thank you also to my existing subscribers. Couldn't do this without you. Wouldn't want to do it without you. <laughs> if you want to see more painting with these Rembrandt paints and you're new, make sure you subscribe down below and hit the bell for all notifications. We are going to get into this and I have a lot of fun videos planned for this coming year. So you won't want to miss that. Real quick on this, these almost have a metallic sheen to them. I don't know if the camera will pick that up at all, but it's kind of interesting. I'm not sure. What's going on with that? Uh, totally derailed my closing there, but you know, that's life. Stay tuned for bloopers. There's probably plenty of those.
And here's what we accomplished today. I hope you guys had a very Merry Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. And I lost my brush again. It's probably in the water dish. Hmm. Anyway, I hope you had a very Merry Christmas if you celebrate Christmas. And if not, I hope you had a good break time. And then we'll get back to life as usual, right? Not really. Not in this year, huh? Well, I'm excited to get into the palette packs and Jazz's Ultimate Creativity Box. I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks again for joining me. I hope this was fun for you. I had a great Christmas and I'm very grateful for how generous my family was in getting me these gifts and very excited to put my new paintings up on my wall somewhere. So when I can, I'll show you how that works. Looks. How that looks. <laughs> okay, enough of that. All right. It's just barely getting daylight outside, but that's the big painting I already have. And I just put this one down here so you could see it with it, kind of. Anyway, I'm not going to hang them side by side. I think I'll put that one in my bathtub where you guys voted I should put my dog painting, but uh, I changed my mind. <laughs> You're like, why'd you even bother having us vote if you didn't do what we said? Well, I don't know. This one looks amazing between those two sconces in my bathtub. If you missed that, check out that video. I'll link that up in the corner as well when I was trying to decide where to put the dog painting. But anyway, that's the size they are. Quite large, quite nice. Can't wait to get them up. So, and, so, and. <laughs> With the, um, hmm. <laughs> They're probably cre uh, crest. Uh, I always throw things. <laughs> Accidentally. <laughs> Stay tuned for bloopers. There's prop. <clears throat> All right. I hope you guys had a very Merry Christmas. <coughs> <coughs>